Yellow Gamer Nome is back. So for today's video, we are going to help this noob awaken the dark fruit and reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Starco Gamer Nome when purchasing your Robux. Where the actor slam on the dancing forward, that's your slam, that's the dump. Okay, so if you think dark fruit is the best fruit for PvP, comment it on the comment section. But first, let's grind this fruit. So to start off, we have the Dark Rocks. This scale can hit multiple targets and has decent damage. Just a reminder, Dark Fruit is an elemental or Logia Fruit which means if you reach a specific level and your enemy has no hockey, you will become invulnerable. So at level 15, we're gonna leave this area and head to the next island, the jungle. We're gonna skip the monkeys and head straight to the gorillas. Two hits is enough to defeat them. We're gonna level up here until you reach level 22 and after that you can start defeating the Gorilla King. The boss in this island, guys, all bosses, even the weak ones, has Haki. For the tip, in defeating the Gorilla King, just look for a high ground and that's it. He cannot damage you here but using your Dark Rocks, there you go, you can damage him. Gorilla King spawns really fast. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 30. I'm gonna show you the stats. Melee, 10, Defense 10, Blast Fruit 70. Next up, Marine Fortress. So guys, you're just gonna lure 4 Petty Officers, jump here, jump on the roof, and again, you're gonna use your Dark Rocks to damage them. By doing this strategy, you will be able to level up your level and master really fast. You're gonna unlock your second skill here, the Black Spiral. Good thing with this skill, it is also multi-target, there you go which means you can grind really fast. Target level here is level 60, and after that, next island, the desert. So our first target here is the desert bandits. Nice Logia is in effect. There you go, elemental, very easy to grind. Lure them and defeat them using your Z and next skill. So there are no other tips here. Moving on, at level 75, you can start defeating the desert officers. So they're just located on the other side of this island. So again, Logia is in effect. Guys, it's really easy to grind in the first C when you have a Logia or Elemental Fruit. You're gonna unlock the black hole here. There you go, multi-target as long as they're stepping in the ground. So you're gonna leave this area at level 90. Stat check, melee 20, defense 20, blast fruits 230. Next island is the Frozen Village. You're gonna buy the Flash Step. Enhancement and the sky jump here for 135,000 and for the snow bandits guys lure them inside the house Because when you use your black spiral, there is a high chance that they will go flying around so you need to lure again So grinding will be fast if you do this strategy. Don't worry on getting damage Log is in effect. You're gonna grind here until 105. Next stop the Yeti so guys, just use all your seals, very easy. If you want, you can start doing server hop here until you reach level 130. Okay, so once you reach that level, next up, the Marine Fortress. One more tip, don't forget to buy the Black Cape. This will increase your overall damage, increase some HP and energy, okay? So next up is the Vice Admiral. At this point in the game, the Dark Fruit is really strong. Just one Z, X, and C skill. Guys, check the HP. Almost half. So if you do the math, just three combos and that's it. Very easy. Again, you're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 220. Check this out. He's late doing server hop 2. So sorry bro. Check other servers. And he tried chasing us. So let's run. <laughs> anyway, next island is the prison at 220. We're gonna defeat bosses here only. And for our strategy, we're gonna do wall strat. Guys, by the way, we've already unlocked our last skill, the Dark Bomb at Master 110. So there you go. Just do wall strat. It's again, same strategy with the Warden until 230. After that, you can start defeating the Chief Warden. And at 240, same strategy, the Swan, okay? You can see I'm still doing wall strat with the Swan. So again, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 350. Checking our stats, melee 110, defense 150, blast fruit 784. After that, next island, the Magma Village. Go so only one enemy here, the Magma Admiral. So guys, same strategy. We're gonna spam Z, X, C, and V skill. So guys, check it out. Just one combo. I'm gonna show you the HP after. Almost half. 
So two and a half compost, and that's it. Okay, we're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 425. After that, next area is the underwater city. Why? Right? This is one of the easiest boss because again, you can lure him and do the wall strat or the window strat or whatever we call it. So we cannot damage you here. Spam your skills Z, X, C, and V, and that's it. You're gonna leave this area at level 500, and for me, 502. Next up, Skylands, Upper Yard, The Whisper. Technique here, just stay here in this rock and he cannot damage you with his bazooka. Check this out, boom, no damage guys. So again, spam all your skills. Just make sure to stay in this area to avoid his bazooka because it is really high damage. Guys, we're gonna stay here until you reach level 675. Yes, we're gonna skip the Thunder God. And again, at 675, head straight to the Fountain City. Start defeating the Gali Pirates. Don't worry, Logia Elemental is in effect. We end with just one combo C, Z, X, and V skill. You're gonna level up here. So we're gonna grind here until you reach level 700. After that, make sure to do the prison quest, defeat the Ice Admiral, and head to the second C. So Gamer Gnome, are we gonna grind here? Not yet. We're just gonna start uh, unlocking or awakening all the skills. Yes, we are asking for help. So shout out to Jethro for helping me awaken all the fruits. And after awakening all the fruits, we are going back to the first C and continue grinding with the awakened dark fruit. Yes, it is fully awakened, so I'm gonna show you the skills. So there you go, we have the dimensional slash, abyssal darkness, endless hole, and the world of darkness. So again, here are the skills. Z skill, dimensional slash. Again, guys, all skills can target multiple enemies. This is the X skill, the abyssal darkness. And I'm gonna show you the endless hole. There you go. So World of Darkness, same guys, this one, okay? So guys, this step is like a Soru. We are going to leave this area at level 793. So I made the mistake here, it's not 791. No! No! So what's the problem, Gamer Nom? So I'm gonna show you now. So I went to the second C and started grinding the Swan Pirates. These mobs don't have hacky. But guys, again, but it's fine guys, you can still defeat them with one combo. And also last two levels until you reach level 793. So as you can see, Logia is in effect now. A lot easier to defeat these mobs. The only problem is we will not be able to level up our observation hockey, which is not good in the third C. <laughs> okay, we're gonna grind this area until you reach level 925. We're gonna skip the marine captains in the green zone and head straight to Fajita or Fujitora at 925. Don't worry guys, we're gonna level up here only until you reach level 950. Why 950 Gamer Nom? Wait, let's check our stats first at 950. Melee 300, Defense 600, and Black Fruits 1950. Next up is in the Graveyard Island, we're gonna start defeating the zombies. Logia is not yet in effect or the elemental, but guys, check this out. C skill, X skill. V skill and Z skill is enough to defeat them. Oh, actually, you don't need the Z skill. They're so easy to defeat. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1028. Moving on, next up is the Snow Mountains. Same strategy, guys, with the Snow Troopers. At this level, Log is in effect. They're just gonna lure four at a time. We're gonna do this twice to finish a quest and level up. Target level here is level 1150. Guys, if you want, you change the Z skill, dimensional slash into the previous skill. I'm gonna show you later why. So next up, hot and cold, smoke admiral. Guys, this is the boss in this island. Check this out. Just one combo, Z, X, C, and V skill, half HP, okay? So two combos and that's it. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 1250. Stat check, nearly 550, defense 990, max black fruits. Guys, again, Max Blast Fruits. Next up, the Cursed Ship. First target here, the Ship Deck Hands. Logia or Elemental is not yet in effect, but you can use the Wall Strap. So lure them here. As you can see, guys, there's a wall. And use all your skills. And that's enough to defeat them. Okay? This is the only mob that we're gonna defeat here. You're gonna activate your Elemental Effect at 1314. There you go. And we're gonna leave this area at 1350. 
next island is the Ice Castle and our only target is the Arctic Warriors. Guys, you can defeat them with one combo, 1400 plus, Logia will be in effect. And we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1475. No Awakened Ice Admiral for us. Next island is the Forgotten Island. So our target here, Sea Soldiers. Guys, before you move on to the third sea, please bring back the Dark Rocks. The Unawakened Z skill because this is a lot better. What is your reason, gamer? No? Guys, because this skill has no knockback, which means you can use all your skills properly, okay? Again, it is easier to do your combo with the Unawakened Z skill. So again, you're gonna leave this area when you reach level 1552. Now, finish all the skills, the Coliseum quest, head to the green zone, and welcome to the third C. For our first target, we have the Pirate Millionaire. So as you can see, one Z skill, C skill, X skill, and finish everything with the V skill. So guys, we're gonna keep on grinding here until you reach level 1675. Guys, take note, if you follow this, you will grind a lot faster, okay? So next up is the Hydra Island. So here we're gonna do server hop with the Island Empress. So there you go, you can do uh, what do you call this wall strat. Don't worry, it will be very easy. Just take note of the bounty hunters because guys, there are lots of bounty hunters here. Our target level here is to reach level 1750. Okay, so once you reach that level, we are ready to move on to our next island. But before that, start check first. Melee 900, Defense 2049, Max Black's Fruits. Next area, the Great Tree. So our only target here is the Kilo Admiral. So guys, Technic here, just jump here and that's it. You can use all your skills, your Z skill, your X skill, and C skill while hiding on top of this rock. Again, Gamer Nom, why are we just defeating bosses? Because guys, all the mobs here, they're so far apart. The quest giver is so far. Guys, it's really hard to grind in the third C if you defeat mobs. Unless, guys, you're in the next island, okay? The 1869. Next island is the Floating Turtle. So, only one mob here, the Fishman Captains. Yes, guys. Again, take note of the mobs. Why Fishman Captains? They're near the Quest Giver. They're easy to defeat. And Elemental is in effect. So, they cannot damage you at this level. We're gonna skip all the mobs here and just focus on them, okay? I hope that's really clear. Guys, again, this is faster. I'm telling you. You're gonna ride here until you reach level 2055. After that, next stop, the Haunted Castle. So guys, last two mobs. Believe me guys, last two mobs. First is the Reborn Skeletons. We're gonna grind here. Again, why Gamer Gnome? Because uh, I think this is the only mob that has no hacky here. So Logia is in effect. Guys, think of this. Even if your enemy gives you more hockey, if it gives you a hard time, things will be a lot harder and longer, right? So we will focus on the easy enemies and just focus on grinding. So you're gonna do this until you reach level 2161 and next up the Sea of Treats. So from here on, the Peanut Scouts, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 2300, that's max level. But Gamer Gnome, the first mob in Big Mom's Island has no hockey. But guys, listen, they spawn really slow. They're, even though they're near the quest giver, guys, there's a chance that they will uh, go flying around because of their own skill, which will make the grinding really longer, okay? So again, I suggest just stay here until your max level. But if you have more suggestions for better grinding, comment in the comment section, okay? So guys, I think that's it for this video, 1 to max using Awakened Dark Fruit. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out!